Hi again. In the last lecture, we talked about the concept of DOE and why we use it. In this lecture, we'll talk about the classic method, one factor at a time, and compare it with our DOE. OK, let's start. Let's go back to the pizza dough example. By using one factor at a time, we change one single factor while keeping all other factors constant. This factor is changed until the target value is closest to the optimum. Let's apply this definition on the pizza example. We'll start with the flour factor. We'll change the amount of flour three times. 100 grams, 200 grams and 300 grams. While the yeast is constant at 30 grams and also the salt at 4 grams. After we make the first three trials, we have to write down the results. So let's say with the first trial, the taste is 2 on a scale of 1 to 10. The second is 6 and the third is 3. So we found out with 200 grams of flour, we get the best taste. Now once the first factor is examined, it's kept at its new level and the next factor varies, which in this case is the yeast, and the salt is still constant. After we change the amount of the yeast, we repeat the same for the salt. So at the end of nine trials, we get the closest values to the optimum, which in this case is this combination, 200 grams of flour with 20 grams of yeast and four grams of salt. However, the one factor at time method is complex and not meaningful as it doesn't determine the actual optimum values for the studied factors. In addition, it also needs a lot of trials, which cost us time and of course money. In DOE, with fewer trials, the factors are systematically compiled, varied and investigated in an experimental design. And don't worry, we'll learn how to do this in the coming sections. After we know the basics of the one factor at a time method, we'll now make a small comparison between one factor at a time and the design of experiments. We mentioned before the benefits of the DOE, so let's remind ourselves together. The effect of the factors. In one factor at a time, we can know if the factors affect the output or not, but we need a great number of trials. The factor with the highest effect. We can get it by using one factor at a time, but we need also a much greater number of trials. Interaction between the factors. Unfortunately, we can't get this by one factor at a time. Process optimization. Also, this isn't possible by using the classic method. Prediction. We can't have a prediction with the classic way. We now know the difference between the one factor at a time and the DOE. In the next lecture, we'll learn a little bit more about the design of experiments method. See you in the next lecture.